this is Mrs. Freifeld, and I'm here with Lesson 12, still basically focusing in on your box and whisker plots. Again, paper pencil and colored pencils if you want. First thing I need you to do is find the mean, the median, the range, and the mode of these numbers. Pause your video and then check to see if you're right. To find the mean of the set of numbers, you add the numbers up, including the zero. Together they equal 24, that's the sum. You take the sum and you divide it by how many numbers you added together, and you have the mean of four. To find the median of a set of numbers, you put them in order from least to greatest. Find the numbers that are in the middle, and in this case there's two. So you add those two together, you get nine, and you divide them by two. So the mean, the median of this set of numbers is four and a half. But I want to point something out. Think of a number line. And if you have the number four, and you have the number five, isn't the middle four and a half? I mean, I mean, right? Isn't the middle four and a half? Find the range of a set of numbers. You take the biggest number, you subtract out the smallest, so the range is six. To find the mode in the set of data, it's the numbers listed the most, and both four and five are listed twice. Okay, we're gonna answer some questions about this stem and leaf plot. And what I want you to do is when you get the question, I want you to pause it and then check to see if you get the answer. If you've got the answer, fast forward and get done with the lesson quicker. <laughs> okay, go ahead and, okay, what is the mean of the set of data? Feel free to use a calculator. Pause the video. To find the mean of the set of data, the first thing you need to do is add them up. They equal, the sum is 218. Once you've done that, you take your sum and you divide it by the number that you added up. I added up five numbers. The mean of this set of data is 43.6. Here's your next question. What is the median? Pause the video. To find the median of this set of numbers, first pull them off. And once you've pulled them off, you're going to find the number that's in the middle. The median of this set of data is 38. Find the range. Pause the video. The range of this set of data is taking the biggest number, which is 54, and subtracting it from the smallest number, which is 35. Don't forget to borrow. The range of this set of data is 19. What is the mode? The mode is the number that's listed the most. And we can see that the mode in this set of data is 38. Okay, we're going to work with this line plot or dot plot, whichever one they want to call it this year. Again, I'm going to give you the question. You pause it and see if you get the answer right before you check it. What is the mode of the set of data? The mode is the number that's listed the most. It's right here, it's where the data peaks out here. So your mode is three. What is the range in the set of data? To find the range, you take the biggest number, which is five, and you're gonna subtract the smallest number, which is one. The range in this set of data is four, and it's the distance between the smallest and the biggest. And look, one, two, three, and four. What is the median in this set of data? 
Pause your video. The first thing you do to find the median is pull these numbers off of the line plot or dot plot and they will be in order. Then find the one that's in the middle. There's two numbers in the middle. I can add them together and divide them by two, but they're side by side. What numbers between three and four? How about three and a half or 3.5? That would be your median in that set of data. Is this data symmetrical or asymmetrical? It is asymmetrical. There's nowhere that you could fold that picture and have one side fold directly on top of the other. It's asymmetrical. What percent of the cards that were drawn were a five? Pause the video and give it a shot on your own. If you want to know what percent if you remember the triangle, if you're looking for the percent, it had to give you a fraction. The total number of dots is 10. The number that are 5, there's 3. And there's a place value for that. 3 tenths is 0.3. You move your decimal point two places, empty nest at the end, 30% of the numbers were a 5. Okay, now we're back to how do you create a box plot from a set of data. And sometimes it's called a box and whisker plot. They're the same thing. I like the last one because cats have whiskers. Why not? Okay, to make a box plot, you need to find five values for the data set. The first thing you need to do is find the least value. Oh, you know what? I need to put these things in order. Watch me do it real fast. Booyah. Sorry. All right, so the least value is five. I'm going to put the whisker on five. The greatest value is 22. There's my whisker. Make it go away. Go away. And then the median. The median is the number that's in the middle. So I'm going to go and work my way in. The median is 15. So I'm going to take this line and I'm going to put it right, well I'm going to try, I'm going to do it again, watch me. I'm going to put it on 15. Now I'm going to find the upper quartile, and that's the median of the larger numbers. So here I go, here and here, and my upper quartile is 20. So I'm going to put this line on 20. And now I'm going to find my lower quartile. My lower quartile is the median of the lower half of the data. I can't use this 15 because it is it is the median. There's already a line. So I'm stuck with these three. And if I work my way in, the lower quartile is going to be 9. So that's where this goes right there. And now I'm going to complete my box plot. So I'm going to first... Connect these lines here and make it the box from the lower quartile through the median through the upper quartile. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. My lower quartile, my median, my upper quartile, and then I'm going to make my whiskers. There's a whisker and there's a whisker. That was way fun. Now I'm going to put my cat on top because, why not? I could use this cat. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, let's say you think that's a stupid looking cat. Well, that's rude. Cats get their feelings hurt all the time. Let's try this one. Ooh, pizza cat. Ooh, I like pizza cat. Whatever. Let's go to the next one. 
Okay, we're going to make another box plot because that's how you get good at it. The first thing you need to do is put these numbers in order from least to greatest. Booyah. Now I'm going to find the smallest number, which is 5. That is my whisker. Now I'm going to find the largest number, and it's 23. And there's my other whisker. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my median. So I'm going to work my way in. My median is 13. So I'm going to make my line and I'm going to stick it where there's a 13. Okay, now I'm going to find my upper quartile. My upper quartile is the large, the higher set of numbers. So I'm going to start from the outside. And I have two that are in the middle, the median. So what number is between 18 and 19? It's 18 and a half, folks. You can add them together and you can divide them by two. And you're going to get 18.5. So that's where I'm going to stick this line. 16, 17, right there. And now I'm going to find the lower quartile. Again, I'm using the lower set of numbers, and I need to find the number that's in the middle. I have two numbers in the middle. Well, what's between 8 and 9? I can add them together and get 17 and divide them by 2, or I can know that seven, seven and a half is between those two numbers. And I know that, so that's what I'm gonna do. Six, seven and a half. I think I had just, wait, seven and a half, try eight and a half, Freifeld. Ooh, that's so much better. There it is, it's eight and a half. And now I'm gonna finish making my cat, the favorite part of all. Here I go. I'm going to start from my lower quartile, go to my median, then to my upper quartile. I'm going to finish my box by going again from the lower quartile through the median to the upper quartile. And now that I've got my box, I'm going to make my whisker. There's a whisker, and there is a whisker. And then finally, the best part of all, is to put a cat, which I would never let anyone do in class, but I have no problems with you doing it now. Look, there's a cat at the top of your box of whisker plot. Or, if you don't want him, how about him? You could have a little sleeping cat, a cat on the top of your box and whisker plot. Don't even tell me this isn't fun. Let's do one more. Okay, hey, first thing you're going to do, put the numbers in order from least to greatest. And I'm going to do that for you. Booyah. I'm going to find my smallest number, and that's 3. And this is where I'm going to put, I see I have to do it myself. This is sad. Expect me to work. Okay, I'm going to put my whisker. One, two, three. Here. And then my other whisker is on 18. Now I'm going to find the median. My median is 9. Then I'm going to find my upper quartile with this top part of the data. The upper quartile is 12. Now I'm going to find my lower quartile from the lower part of the data, which is right here. You can't use the median. He's already used. And I see that my lower quartile is 5. Now I'm going to make my box plot. There. There. A great whisker there and a great whisker there. And then my favorite part of all, the best part, is getting my cat up there. So here we have one and it's dreaming about fish. You did a fabulous dog, and that's Toto, and she thinks so too. Bye-bye.